What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to a video of um, Brittany Griner getting an embarrassingly low WNBA contract, and the woke goes crazy complaining about gender pay gap once again. But before we do that, though, let's give you a word from promopalace.biz. Are you a musician looking for music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pool promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. That's right. You heard a beautiful lady. If you need online market promotions, check us out. Promopalace.biz. One-stop shop for all market promotions for your music product, brand, or service. Promopalace.biz. You see it scrolling down below. I right, get into it. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Griner got nine years in prison. It's horrible. And it's political. But on the upside, it is the longest contract anyone's ever offered a WNBA player. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be totally honest, it's, it's kind of an upside a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and we know it's political because <laughs> we, we know it's political because Russia immediately offered to trade her for an international arms dealer in a U.S. prison. Um, it's not going to happen, but also the highest trade value ever offered for a WNBA player as well. <laughs> yeah, they Facts. never Truth. cared this much ever about a WNBA player. She's getting more done for the league in court than on the court. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got to talk about Brittany Griner, okay? And the reason why I'm talking about Brittany Griner is because um, she got what I believe to be an embarrassingly low contract offer from the Phoenix Mercury. Okay, she got a one-year deal that you know really is kind of embarrassing okay and one of the reasons why i'm doing this story is because i think that this contract offer kind of highlights some of the hypocrisy here from the yes, WBA and some of the woke revolutionaries that were yes, complaining about the so-called gender pay gap while britney griner was locked up in russia remember she was in russia and uh the woke said well the reason why she's in russia that she had to go to russia is because she's not getting paid enough here in the united states in wnba she's getting paid so little that is why she had to go to russia to play apparently she was making millions and millions of dollars in russia a lot in the public they say if this were an nba star like britney that it would be daily news do you think a gender issue is at play here i mean when is it not you know um you advocate for us so many in so many respects you know it, it's it's disappointing that the question of, you know, be it being a gender issue is top of mind now when it comes to this type of circumstance. But the reality is, is, you know, she's over there because of a gender issue, pay inequity. Um, Let me pump the brakes on this. Complete bullshit. Horseshit. She's over there because the WNBA doesn't make a profit. They lose about $100 million every single year. I don't know a business that's losing a hundred million every year that's giving pay raises. Like these people that this is the one argument that pisses me off the most. It pisses me off the most because they're not being real. They're being fake. They're being phony. They're telling lies, bullshit, horse shit. Nobody watches WNBA. The WNBA does not make a profit. This idea that they're supposed to get pay raises when the business doesn't make a profit. I don't know no business on the planet that's giving pay raises when they don't make a profit. If people are that dumb and that fucking stupid, and go jump off a bridge. Get it over with. 
I played in Russia for four years. I played in Poland for one year. I played in China for two years. We go over there to supplement our incomes. And quite frankly, we go over there um, to maintain our game. You know, our, our teams encourage us to keep up with our game by going over there and being more competitive. So there's so much that's at play that, you know, we live politically, intrinsic, intrinsically. And I'm glad you brought up about the pay difference because over in Russia and top players can make upwards of a million dollars. Uh, yeah. And the top base salary in the WNBA is $228,000. You played in Russia. What was it like? I, you know, I had a good experience in Russia. Um, I think that obviously the circumstances are very different. Yes. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that, okay? Brittany Griner didn't have a drug problem, right? She had a gender problem, and that's why she got locked up in Russia, okay? Because the United States of America is sexist, okay? We hate women, and um, <laughs> she wasn't getting paid enough here, so that's why she had to go to Russia. Uh, incredible. And you would think by, again, this type of logic, okay? This is what, you know, WNBA players were saying. You know, WNBA was on board with all this wokeness, and, oh, you know, we love Brittany, blah, blah, blah. You would think that Brittany would get a pretty favorable contract, right? Um, you know, in her return to the league, especially considering how she missed time because she got locked up in Russia. But that's not <laughs> what's going on here. So let's read here. After being detained for 10 months in Russia, Brittany Griner fulfilled the promise she made to play for the Phoenix Mercury again in the 2023 season. Griner, a 32-year-old free agent, signed a one-year $165,100 contract with the Mercury on Saturday, a source confirmed to ESPN. She'll return to the team that drafted her first overall in 2013 for a 10th season. Now, hold on. Let me, before he goes in, this is another thing people got to understand. If she had a better contract deal out there from another team, a longer contract, with the same amount of money or more money, she would have probably taken it. But the fact that she only got a one year, 165,000 deal, that goes to show you none of the other teams really wanted her. They weren't really interested in her. I mean, damn, she's six foot nine and can't even dunk. Let's keep it moving. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brittany Griner is getting paid $165,000. One year deal, $165,000. Um, so in my opinion, um, this is kind of embarrassing. And the reason why is because it's, it's not a max contract. But also at the same time, I got to admit, $165,000 for a WNBA player uh, sounds like a lot, right? Especially consider how that league is subsidized by men, right? By the NBA. Okay, what did he just say? The league is subsidized by the NBA, which means they don't make a profit. They don't make money. So they're basically expecting to make their money and get a raise off of the NBA's hard work, off of the blood, sweat, and tears of the NBA, of all the work they put in, of all the marketing dollars. This is the thing you gotta. people got to understand. An average Joe on the bench of an NBA team has more social media followers and is more known than – most superstar players in the WNBA. Let's keep it moving. Hey, maybe she shouldn't even be getting paid that, okay? Maybe she should be getting paid less than that. But I'm just saying, in the grand scheme of what she's getting paid to uh, versus some of her colleagues, it's kind of low, right? Especially considering how, again, they were hooping and hollering about the gender pay gap, right? Oh, Brittany yeah. Griner don't get paid enough. This is why she had to go to Russia and get locked up. It's, it's our fault, right? But when she gets back into the league, the Phoenix Mercury, for whatever reason, can't find a way to offer her a max contract hmm. where she can get paid more money, right? Uh, ain't it amazing how that works, okay? Uh, again, you know, I'm just saying, if you want her to get paid more money, you should start by paying her yourself, right? Uh, but apparently the Phoenix uh, Mercury weren't willing to do that. Uh, the last time Griner stood up for the Mercury was in 2021 when she led them on an unexpected run to the WNBA Finals which uh, Phoenix lost to the Chicago Sky. She missed the 2022 WNBA season while in detention in Russia. Does anybody know who won <laughs> the WNBA National Championship? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, right? I don't know who won that. Uh, Griner had one of the best years of her career in 2021, averaging 20.5 points, 1.9 blocks, 2.7 assists, and career highs with 9.5 rebounds per game, 2.4 offensive rebounds, and a point. Eight four six uh free throw percentage. Wow, it's pretty good free throw percentage, right? I mean, that's pretty good even for the the NBA. 
Uh, again, I'm not. I, I'm trying to figure out why she not getting a max here. Right? Seems to me like she should get a max contract. Hey, I don't know. Uh, so that being said, um, if you look here at at the, at the at the maximum numbers here, uh, in 2023, you got 202,000. Um, this is for the basic max. A super max would be. 234,000, which again, when you look at these numbers, it kind of sounds like a lot for a WNBA player. It does. Uh, these are the top paid players in the WNBA, uh, or they, they they were. That was for the 2022 season. She didn't play in the 2022 season. So so she's getting paid less now than she than she was before the 2022 season, right? In 2022, she was like sixth. Interesting, right? Interesting. Again, you would think that they would try to give her more. So uh, obviously there was some reactions here on you know her contract. Uh, this person says, somewhat reluctant to mention the optics of Griner signing for less and Teresi getting maximum. Parker took 100k. Others took less than max. This has been an interesting offseason. I don't like how they just disrespected my wife like that. Whoa. <laughs> uh, how did they not give her the super max? Apparently they're not woke enough. Uh, me personally. You no, know, let me chime in though real quick. Why should they give her the Supermax? Why should they give somebody who blatantly doesn't care about U.S. laws or international laws or Russian laws that thinks they're above all laws and transporting um, cannabis soil legally? Why should they give her the Supermax? So they should, they should reward her for being an international criminal. Oh, yeah, that's that's great. Let's keep it moving. I would have done everything in my power to ensure that BG was earning the Supermax and not any other player on the roster. That's just me. So Teresi uh, gets the max at age 70 and Brian and Griner gets this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because so, you know what right? Teresi didn't do? Teresi didn't, you know, break international laws. She didn't transport cannabis oil from the U.S. to some other country and then into Russia because she probably made a stop before she went to Russia, which means that she broke their laws and I, if i'm not mistaken i think it's illegal to bring in cannabis oil into the u.s too duh fucking jackasses man um yeah man i'm with him this this just shows the hypocrisy on the left you know strong advocates um they told you horseshit lies that she was wrongfully detained when they got her on video uh being searched uh, their laws are five to ten years. That doesn't sound wrongfully detained based on their laws. Um, yeah, you know, they traded her for a arms dealer, the Lord of War, Nicolas Cage. And they offered this little contract. I mean, why would you reward her? That's the thing. I know Democrats and liberals, you know, they like rewarding criminals you know allow people to just steal anything less than a thousand dollars get a misdemeanor and i've heard him say that no that uh what did biden say like we should free over 50 percent of the, the criminals locked up oh that's great just make us all victims you know just have us all getting robbed at gunpoint and killed and raped and murdered all that good stuff you know but um yeah it, it just goes to show you the hypocrisy um it goes to show you that the argument's not real because if, if Phoenix, like you said, if Phoenix Suns are so big on the gender pay gap, why the hell they didn't pay her? That's why, why didn't they pay her? Because they can't. Because the league doesn't make a fucking profit, you jackasses, you morons, you fucking idiots. There's no fucking business on the planet that is going to give you raises when they're losing a hundred million a fucking year. They're going to be firing the whole fucking staff, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, this is this is the argument that pisses me off the most. That, that most that there's a gender pay gap between the WNBA and the NBA. We also forget the WNBA is only 25 years old. Um, NBA is is three times older than that. NBA actually has superstars in the league. They can actually dunk. You know, where's the female dunk contest? I mean, you watch the WNBA; it's a fucking layup drill, man. I mean, high schoolers are dunking through the fucking roof, and WNBA is a layup drill. It's boring. You know what's? You know what? Female sport is good is women's ball, volleyball, women's long jump, and women's high jump. Now that is a sport to watch. 
Once again, thank you for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast. And I'm out. <laughs>